Hey everybody, this is just a quick update just to let you know that um, I am in fact alive. Um, sorry I haven't posted anything for the past couple of years. Um, it's been a bunch of extenuating circumstances. Um, in real life commitments, work, personal life. And also one of the main reasons being um, just burnout in general. Um, initially when I started doing YouTube, and I've done I think about 200 videos on the channel at this point. Um, granted, they're not necessarily the best quality because back then, you know, I was just recording on my, uh, on my camera's inbuilt microphone. Um, I was using scripts, which were notes, which were off to the side of me and just sharing my thoughts and passions with fellow members of the comic book community, um, on, you know, Marvel, DC, independent comics, etc. So I knew right from the get go that obviously the videos weren't necessarily, the best quality in the you know in the in the audio and the lighting department but hopefully they were bearable because obviously the camera was quite close to me anyway um so in my time away in the past two years i've learned to make investments into the right gear so dedicated um a new dedicated camera um dedicated audio gear and just learn the fundamentals like lighting, audio, etc. So what I should have prioritized, obviously, initially when I started, because I didn't know this when I started, because obviously, as they say, YouTube is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, forgive the backdrop. This is just where I can record and just, yeah. Um, so sorry about the white walls, but hopefully you can see me and you'll be fine anyway. Um, so basically, I, like I said, I've invested in the right gear and I will be getting back into doing videos eventually um, in the new year. Um, just need to learn a few things and get to grips with my new uh, editing software of choice because I used to use Wondershare Filmora for a while, um, which was targeted at very much beginner um, video editors, content creators, YouTubers, etc. Whereas now I've switched over to DaVinci Resolve uh, 18, the free version um on my dedicated laptop so need to learn the interface for that and get to edit on there um but yeah just a quick update like i said to let you know that i am alive um so i haven't been posting as much like i said you know real life stuff gets in the way um to everybody that has tuned in to my videos over the past i think my first video on youtube i was looking on the youtube studio app and the first video i posted was 10 years ago 10 years. Holy crap. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and those first like five or six videos, probably actually no, probably about 10, was actually filmed in the dorm in my university, uh, in my flat accommodation in the student flats where I was staying in university at the time. Um, and those videos were filmed on my phone at the time, which would have been the iPhone 6S. And now I'm filming this on an iPhone 14 um, with a dedicated stand, a dedicated light and dedicated audio equipment. Um, yeah, so a lot can happen in, in 10 years. Um, so like I said, um, to everybody that, that's ever watched my videos, so Dr. Monkeybot, Sleepy Reader, La Raza, um, Comic Crack, uh, Scott Running With Comics, um, The Incredible CJ, um, uh, Howler Mouse, Tim, um, Scott, uh, uh, oh god, I can't remember you, you use the name, dude. Um, <clears throat> you know which Scott I'm on about. Scott, which did uh, the um, the podcast, the brief podcast series with Howler Mouse, Tim, where you guys discussed the um, the Sandman series and Morpheus's eventual return to rediscovering his humanity over the course of Neil Gaiman's seventy issue run on that title. Um, who else? Cami, uh, Reader 1717. Um, just everybody in general that's ever left a comment that's liked, that's appreciated me sharing my thoughts, even though, like I said, my equipment wasn't necessarily the best at the time. But over the course of the past decade and the past two or three years in particular, I've gone back and I've learned the fundamentals in terms of, you know, investing in the right gear. So audio should be a priority. First and foremost, you know, people put up with bad video as long as you've got good audio. Um, but they won't put up with bad video and good audio or bad audio and bad video. But anyway, so like I said, I've now got the equipment that I need in order to make better content. And, you know, a lot of 
um, a lot of helpful apps have come out in the past 10 years. Um, there's apps where you can record directly into, which I'm recording into right now, which is the Veeds Captions app, which will give me automatic closed captions or subtitles for this video, which is fantastic. And you can also upload your videos directly into the app and then it will um, subtitle or give you a closed captions um, readout of the text, um, which lines up with your audio. Um, another one being Capwing, another one being, uh, which is another video editing and subtitling um, software uh, and cloud-based um, editing platform. Uh, what else have I discovered in the past 10 years? DaVinci Resolve, which I've just discovered in the last two. Um, I knew it was about for a bit, but scary trying to edit on a brand new editing suite. But hopefully, like I said, once I've learned the basics and the fundamentals, I'll be you know better at it. Um, what else? Uh, you know what? So much has come out over the past 10 years in terms of apps and stuff. It's kind of crazy. So I'm kind of glad in a way that I've waited to 